an aircraft engine, often referred to as an aero engine, is the power component of an aircraft propulsion system. Aircraft using power components are referred to as powered flight. Most aircraft engines are either piston engines or gas turbines, although a few have been rocket-powered and in recent years many small UAVs have used electric motors. But the focus of this video is power turbines, starting of with turboprop engines. A turboprop is a turbine engine that drives an aircraft propeller. A turboprop consists of an intake, reduction gearbox, compressor, combustor, turbine, and a propelling nozzle. Air enters the intake and is compressed by the compressor. Fuel is then added to the compressed air in the combustor, where the fuel-air mixture then combusts. The hot combustion gases expand through the turbine stages, generating power at the point of exhaust. Some of the power generated by the turbine is used to drive the compressor and electric generator. The gases are then exhausted from the turbine. In contrast to a turbojet or turboffin, the engine's exhaust gases do not provide enough power to create significant thrust, since almost all of the engine's power is used to drive the propeller. They are not used in aircraft that fly faster than 0.6 to 0.7 Mach. However, propfin engines, which are very similar to turboprop engines, can cruise at flight speeds approaching 0.75 Mach. Coming up next is turboshaft engines. A turboshaft engine is a form of gas turbine that is optimized to produce shaft power rather than jet thrust. In concept, turboshaft engines are very similar to turbojets, with additional turbine expansion to extract heat energy from the exhaust and convert it into output shaft power. They are even more similar to turboprops, with only minor differences, and a single engine is often sold in both forms. Turboshaft engines are commonly used in applications that require a sustained high power output, high reliability, small size, and lightweight. These include helicopters, auxiliary power units, boats and ships, tanks, hovercraft, and stationary equipment. An unusual example of the turboshaft principle is the Pratt & Whitney F-135 PW600 turboffin engine for the STOV Al Lockheed F-35B Lightning II. In conventional mode it operates as a turboffin, but when powering the Rolls-Royce lift system, it switches partially to turboshaft mode to send 29,000 horsepower forward through a shaft and partially to turboffin mode to continue to send thrust to the main engine's fan and rear nozzle. Large helicopters use two or three turboshaft engines. The Mil Mi 26 uses two Lauder of D136 at 11,400 horsepower each. Next is electric power. A number of electrically powered aircraft, such as the Kindy Q Zephyr, have been designed since the 1960s. Some are used as military drones. In France in late 2007, a conventional light aircraft powered by an 18kW electric motor using lithium polymer batteries was flown. Covering more than 50 kilometers, the first electric airplane to receive a certificate of airworthiness. On the 18th of May 2020, the Pipistrelli 811 was the first electric aircraft engine to be awarded a type certificate by EA ASA for use in general aviation. The E811 powers the Pipistrel Veli's Electro. Small multicopter UAVs are almost always powered by electric motors. Aviation fuels are different from ordinary motor fuels. These are Jetta only available in America and a few Canadian airports whereas the other, Jetta 1 available all over the world except Russia. Others are Jet B and TS1 primarily used in some military aircraft including use in northern Canada, Alaska, and sometimes Russia because of its low freezing point and TS1 has also seen use in Russia because of the freezing temperatures. Next video on ramjet engines. So stay tuned and thanks for watching.